defining a variable in JavaScript is very easy, but there, there are things you have to consider. For example, is it a global variable or a local? What is the scope of the variable? How to control the scope? Uh, is it a constant? Uh, so these things does matter, and if you don't do it properly, you can end up paying a price where your code doesn't work and you don't know why is it happening. So uh, this short tutorial, I'll show you all the tricks. Defining a variable is very easy in JavaScript. All you have to do is um, define a variable by using a var, uh, keyword var. Uh, I is my variable, and I am assigning a value in the second line. You can also define and assign a variable in one line like this. Now let's look at a global variable versus local variable. JavaScript follows a lexical scoping, which means variable defined outside the function is automatically available inside the function. And if you have a function within a function within a function, then all the, the variable defined within that first function is available in all subsequent function defined inside it. So for example, um, if I have a variable defined here, i equal to 1, it's available here, here, and here. Now if I define a variable here within the first function, it's available here, here. However, it's not available here or here. This is called lexical scoping. So if I define a variable here, it should not be available outside this function because this is the last node in this function tree. So let's look at if it's available or not. Uh, so if I do console log here, it should not be available here. So if I uh, if I run this function, it would give me an error, say uncaught reference error. I is not defined, which means I doesn't exist outside. Now let's do this. If I take this keyword var out, now I becomes global because I haven't defined this variable. I have assigned a variable a value without even defining it. That makes it automatic global. So if I run this again, now I'm getting one. So always define your variable before assigning it. If you don't want this to happen, you use strict. Add this line beginning of every module. It will prevent making this kind of mistakes. Now if I run this, let me clear this. If I run this now, it would say I is not defined. So it enforces you to define a variable before assigning a value to it. So let's understand, understand block scope. The keyword var doesn't provide a block scope. What, what it means is that it's that within the function, once you define a variable using var, it's available throughout the function, even inside any block of the code. And if you change its value within a block, it persists. Here, here in this example, I have a variable i equal to 1, and then, then I have this uh, block of code where I am redefining i to be 2. So if I console it out, it becomes 2 here. But outside this block, again, if I print it, it stays 2. It doesn't retain its value to be 1. Uh, let's run this. And as you can see, uh, the both values are 2. What if I don't want this behavior? What if I only want i to be 2 only within this block? How do I do that? JavaScript. ECMA6 introduce a new keyword called let. So if I change this both var to let, and now if I run this, I would get two, and now this becomes one, which means within this, within only this block scope, i is two, but outside, it's one again. There are a lot of times when you want this. Try to use let if you want this behavior to be. And make sure to use use strict if you want to use let because let is only available in ECMS6 and uh, if you're using an older browser, uh, it would complain. ECMS6 uh, also introduced another uh, keyword const, which means const. Now you can define constant in JavaScript. Here's, here's this example. I have a constant i and the value is 2. If I try to do this, if I try to assign 3 to i and try to print it, uh, it would give me an error. And it would say assignment to constant variable. So now you can use constant in Java, which is, uh, which is a nice feature as well. That's all you need to know about defining variables in JavaScript.
I uh, hope you learned something and uh, if you did please uh, like the video and uh, provide a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe for future cool videos thank you